when you feel love for yourself or for another you are a perfect vibrational match to the source within you when you feel hatred or anger towards someone else or toward yourself you are nowhere near the vibrational equivalent of your source and that vibrational variance between who you're letting yourself be and who you really are is noted to you by your negative emotion negative emotion whatever degree of it you're experiencing always means to that degree you're pinching yourself off from the fullness of who you are when you allow yourself in your physical human form to ride the rocket of desire that the source within you is riding you feel passion you feel enthusiasm you feel love you feel certainty you feel flexibility and vitality you are energized you are in love with life that is who you really are and when you feel frustration when you feel overwhelmment when you feel anger or greater anger when you feel rage or disappointment when you feel fear or depression you are pinching yourself off incrementally more and more and more and more and more from who you really are and so we want you to understand that the emotions that you feel are in every moment that you are feeling them whether they feel like love or whether they feel like despair the emotion that you are feeling is always every single time your indicator of your vibrational relationship between who life has caused you to become and who you're letting yourself be right here in this moment by virtue of whatever it is you're giving your attention to talk about moment by moment segment by segment guidance talk about always having a bead on who you really are and what you really want and where you said you really want to go in other words this is sophisticated guidance that is with you always once you learn to read it your navigational systems in your vehicles are similar they know where you are they know where you are <laughs> and you program in your desired destination and the system calculates the route between where you are and where you want to be and your guidance system is the same way here you stand maybe with not enough money or with a relationship that feels awful or with a bodily condition that isn't pleasing you or is frightening you here you stand in that contrasting experience sending out rockets of desires constantly for an improved experience more rockets now than ever before because knowing what you don't want helps you to identify what you do want and the source within you not only rides those rockets but becomes the vibrational equivalent of the new and expanded you so the question that we want to put to you and really what the art of allowing workshop is asking of you are you right now by virtue of what you're thinking and speaking are you letting yourself keep up with you are you keeping up with who life has caused you to become and if you are we'll go right back to the first thing that we said to you this morning if you are then you're tuned in tapped in turned on you feel great if you are then you are a vibrational extension you are allowing yourself to be that extended version of you then you are seeing the world through the eyes of source and if you are feeling negative emotion that it means that something has your attention and it is certainly valid in other words we know you don't make this stuff up you're not making it up you're observing it you're not deliberately trying to hold yourself apart from who you are but anytime you feel negative emotion you are nevertheless doing exactly that you're holding yourself apart from who you are so what we're suggesting is that rather than letting an unwanted event train your vortex train your vibration away from the vortex train your vibration into compliance with unwanted things where you just sort of go along with it because it's happening we want you to be aware that you have the power of focus and we want you to be aware that when you know what you don't want a little bit you put its equivalent in your vortex so when you sort of don't want something you sort of want something and that sort of wanted thing goes into your vortex it's equivalent it's the specifics of what you do want are equivalent to the specifics of what you don't want and other way around so by the time you've built something into this pathway of what you really don't want you have without knowing it constructed a really specific what you do want over here in your vortex of creation we call this vortex of creation it's the bounce and the holding place where the evolved version of you is held in vibrational readiness for your attention to it it's there now 
If you're talking about manifestations, then you're probably not all that interested in these vibrational thought ways that have been carved out. But we want you to understand that the vibrational thought way that you've carved out is going to manifest depending upon where you eventually light in terms of your vibrational readiness. So we want to say to you, you can let unwanted things train your vibration into a match with what you don't want and law of attraction will show you the evidence of where you are or you can let the vortex which is the holding place for all things wanted train you into a vibrational frequency and the manifestation of those wanted things will show themselves to you but what we really want what we really 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 want what we want more than all other things put together what we want Jerry's always saying Abraham what do you want what we 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 want is that you will accept the construction of these thought ways prior to their manifestation because if you will accept the thought ways of these of these creations if you will accept the creation of your vortex if you will accept the creation of the unwanted things if you will accept that they are being created by your attention and therefore by your creation of thought ways if you will accept that they are being created long before they manifest and you will pay attention to how you feel during the creation process not only two things will happen two really good things one so much better than the other but we're in disagreement with you about which one is the better thing two things will happen one thing is sure the manifestation of what you're focusing upon the most will happen it will happen it's law it will happen it's a done deal it's a sure thing it will happen you will get what you are vibrationally active about better said you're getting what you are vibrationally active about so one thing it will manifest but the other thing is and this is our favorite part of all of this is that when you accept that this vortex is spinning and that this vortex contains the I know what I do want part of everything that you've been living when you accept that and you let that vortex train you into vibrational compliance or alignment then every step of your journey even before the manifestation begins to reveal itself to you is fun it's pleasurable you're frisky you're full you're inspired you're enlightened you feel that energy you feel that enthusiasm you feel that passion you feel you feel what a creator feels when you're moving in the direction of who you really are so we want to remind you that the emotions that you feel are nothing more than and oh is it ever important what they are they are nothing more than your indicator about whether you're moving down a thought what pathway towards something unwanted or whether you're moving down a thought pathway towards something that you are wanting in other words every time you feel negative emotion it always means the same thing you're moving toward unwanted and away from wanted every time you feel positive emotion it means you're moving toward wanted and away from unwanted in other words you're the focuser of all of that period there is no getting around it so when you use excuses like it's interesting or it's happening it's a world event and it's happening and I don't want to be unaware when you use excuses like well I need to be informed when you use excuses like well it's true when, when when you use excuses like well I need I need to explain it to someone or there they don't get me unless I really get involved or I won't be taken seriously unless I have a really objective viewpoint about things there are all kinds of such flawed reasoning bogus reasons that you use for the for your explanation of why you focus away from who you are that we come and get a little rowdy in our explanation that you are the creator of your experience and you are building constant thought ways and you have come with the intention of selecting and joyfully moving down those pathways for the constant never-ending extraordinary discovery of what this magnificent universe can dish out to you as a representation of what you've got going on vibration.
how do I want and not and kind of leave it alone so that whatever I want comes to me by feeling worthy <laughs> okay because when you want it and expect it then it must be but you said the key words leave it alone because when you it's one of the things that is a little bit amusing you you probably won't think so but it really is <laughs> is that when you keep asking the question or when you keep asking for a solution then you're standing in the place of the absence of the answer or the absence of the solution right. so if you keep that alive in your vibration where is it why doesn't it come I really want then the answer or the solution can't come because they're different frequencies so leaving it alone really is the key in other words you've already asked for it now get on to other things and allow it to come don't just don't keep the absence of it alive in your vibration so how do you set it aside and, and, and let it in to allow it in without thinking? How do you stop thinking about it? Well, if it's something that you really have a hard time setting aside and things you really want are often like that, then it you is. have to find a way of just being general about it. Speaking about it in the most general sense will soften your resistance about it. Want to talk about the details? It's... It, it's getting better and better everything in, in in general and I do try to keep it general because that I did learn that from you um, I don't well, really you, have anything you either specific. have to change the subject but the thing is everything we were talking earlier about the momentum so if you have a need that hasn't been filled and the need is really raw to you it's something that you really 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 want but you want it you're yearning for it you want it from that place of not having it you're slowing it down because that vibration is so active it's keeping really it's is. keeping you from being a vibrational match to your vortex and it's it's preventing it's like your vortex is here and you're here and it can't flow in you've got to do something to raise that vibration so distraction is a good thing getting busy on other things find something to do that occupies your mind make lists of the things that are working make lists of the things that were one time like that that then broke loose and started to work mm. in other words you just try to talk yourself talk yourself in to believing that it's coming going general really is a good tool things do work out for me and there have been things that I've wanted that weren't there and then came later um, in time it will come I don't need to I don't need to worry about this it's just a matter of of allowing I'm I'm really doing a good job that kind of thing and then distraction through meditation is another really good tool we think that meditation is not utilized by humans in the productive effective way that it could be if you would start your day by quieting your mind you would align immediately if you got up and before you remembered what was bothering you from yesterday and before you checked your email and found out what's going to bother you today <laughs> If you would just get up and from that clear space, you would meditate and raise your vibration to the frequency of who you are. Your magic would begin earlier, early in the day. The momentum would begin to flow to you early in the day. And that would distract you. Those positive thoughts and conversations and interactions with others that your, your day would be full of that.